St. Peter's, it's plum porter. It was available in the Morrison uh, in the beer festival. 5% ABV. Rich, ripe, chummy plum flavors. Plum flavor, uh, flavor craft beer. Oh, so small print. They could do better, you know. This it's tiny, uh, a dark, sweet, full-bodied plum porter, background notes of damson and black currant are followed by the fruitiness of the plum in flavor and aroma. All of these complex flavors contribute to this easy drinking beer. Okay. So Thompson is it's just a domestic, a domesticated plum. It can be traced to you know Damascus and Roman times when it was very popular. Uh, the remains of the you know plums were even found in in New York during excavations. Contains barley, <laughs> right? No plums, so it's just the flavorings. Looks like I don't know. They could be more specific, uh, especially the, the you know, added craft beer thing. Right, so we have a typical St. Peter's oval uh, bottle, which actually is uh, you know. Oh, like a copy of 18th century bottles. Looks okay, distinctive, and uh, uh, makes uh, spear stand out straight away, different shape. Okay. A typical cup at the brewer's logo. So let's open it and, and try. Yeah, I would say it's a plum. Sweetish, you know, definitely fruity aroma. Right, how it looks? Very dark brown, but uh, you can't see through. Small head. Bash, small and medium bubbles, it disappears actually. Yeah, def definitely fruity, plummy aroma. Quite sweet. Pleasant. Yeah, I 
would say like uh, you know jam marmalade uh, I know I know that uh, you know you, you will just think about marmalade as uh, made from orange but no you can make a marmalade from everything I like you know really nice um how to say it conserves homemade from plums why not yeah right so aroma is okay let's give it a try hmm. actually carbonation is quite high bites you on the tongue makes impression of um, foamy you know quite smooth um, beer bitterness it's quite high you have this um, aroma and taste of uh, plums but it's not sweet bitter body it's actually medium it is very small sweetness there it makes impression actually the taste of a plum cake burnt notes and those you know quite a little bit you know burnt fruits yes something like this then I'm just thinking is it only flavoring I'm not sure they didn't say it. But it's so intense that it can be artificial. I don't know. I don't want to judge. You have lots of burnt notes which makes all of them bitterness. The beer itself it's lighter than I thought very drinkable, yes there are some like coffee notes there but <coughs> like I said most of the flavors are like, I don't know burnt uh, fruit cake with lots of plums it's not so bad no it's rather interesting taste I'm just wondering is it a original taste from plums or just added flavorings Is they just said jam flavor uh, I mean you know plum flavor I don't know really and they are not saying that they used you know plums in production you can't f you can't find this beer on, uh, on their website so probably they just done it some some beer for this festival so uh, actually I'm a little bit puzzled beer itself is nice quite fruity uh, really you know dark 
molds the uh, beta fine but a little bit too light for me and those flavor things I don't know but anyway judge yourself if you can buy it and try it uh, it's a good beer but is it truly crafty I don't know if they added just flavors instead of adding plums to fermentation is it true craft I don't know tell me what you think about this right I hope you enjoyed this video so please like it please subscribe my channel and of course cheers Thank you.